Good day, everyone. So we're going to continue our discussion talking about the letters um, as far as on the lines and spaces on the treble clef, also called the G clef, okay? So first things first, let's go ahead and draw our treble clef. Okay, make sure you go look at the video of how to draw a treble clef uh, if you need to on uh, my earlier videos. Okay, so I have my treble clef. Remember another name for treble? It's G clef. Now, let's do a quick recap, okay? So we talked about the lines on the staff already, right? Going from bottom to top, we have E, G, B, D and F, okay? Or every good boy does fine if you need to say a sentence there, remember? Now we're gonna talk about the spaces, okay? Because we have four spaces on here as well, in between. The first space on this clef, on the trouble clef, is called F. Okay. Also, uh, I know I didn't mention, if you need to get pencil and paper to write these down, please, 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 please do. Okay? This is going to help you. When if you For everyone who would like to read in music, that will help you for a very long time, okay? At least until you remember, uh, have in your memory what all of these lines and spaces are, okay? And then you won't need your papers, okay? Because you have them memorized. So, the first space letter name is F. The next space is A. The third space is C. And the fourth space up here is E. Now, if you're looking at this, <laughs> Now, it's, you can come up with a, sen a sentence to help you remember the spaces, but if you look very closely, closely, they actually already spell a word. Can you see what word it spells? F-A-C-E? Face. Correct. So, they spell out face. F-A-C-E. All right? So, that could be a quick way of you knowing what all the space uh, letter names are. All you have to do is remember face. <laughs> okay? Now, Let's take a little look at this. Now, if I were to draw a note on the spaces, remember how I told you on the lines, whenever you draw a quarter note, if I wanted to draw a quarter note right on this line here, next to this E, the note head, which is what I'm circling in now, the line's gonna have to go straight through that note head. It's not, it's not going into the spaces too much, but people are gonna know that, hey, that's definitely on the line because the line's going straight through the note head, okay? That way you won't confuse yourself or anyone who has to read any music you create. They can tell just by looking at it, okay, that note is definitely on the line, so it's an E. Now, if I were to draw a note on the space, let's say this A here. I'm going to cleanly as possible Make sure I draw my note head right in that space. Okay? It's not, go it's not touching the line at all. And when someone reads that, they can see clearly that, ah, that, that note is clearly on the A space. So I know that's going to be an A. Okay? Now, when you draw your stems, that's a little bit different. The stems can sometimes cross over into lines and spaces. But that's okay. You're not going to figure out what a note is by the stems, the stems, okay? You're going to always look for the note head. Always look for the note head, not the stems, okay? Now, the stems are going to help you determine what kinds of notes those are later on. Because if I, let's say I draw another note right here. Can you guess what note I drew that 
note on right there? It's a C. It's in the C space. Okay? So I'm going to erase this and move it just so I can show you something. All right? So let's say I give this one. Let's say I want to make these two a pair of eighth notes. Okay? This is how we do it. Because as you can see, one of them is a little bit higher than the other, okay? So I'm gonna draw this down, not so long, okay? Notice the stem is still up, but that's because this first note, the stem is below that third line there. So the note is still traveling up. Since the note is still traveling up, I'm gonna draw my stem up and connect them with this bridge. Now, if I wasn't going to, connect, going to connect them, I would just draw this stem going down like this. Okay? Which is, you know, it's just a quarter note. It's not connected to any other note right now. Okay? But now I just drew a pair of eighth notes on here. Okay? Now I just drew a pair of eighth notes. Now, don't let the other bars and lines confuse you. As you can see, these two lines and it's connected just like a normal eighth note. I just drew it on a staff, that's all. That's the same thing. I just drew it on a staff, okay? Now I turned it into something, okay? Both of these notes are in spaces. That's an A, that's in C. It's still connected. Okay, it's still connected. Now, in further videos, I'm going to, we're going to deal with actually drawing notes on a staff and saying how they would sound. Um, well, putting them with rhythm syllables with the do's and the do days like we've learned in other videos, because this is a do day and this is a do, but we're going to actually have sound now, okay? If we were to actually play these four notes on a piano, it'll go something like this. Do they do do? Do they do do? Do they do do? Okay. Now they have sound. All right. Now they have sound. Okay. So moving on. So remember, if you have questions or if you're confused about any of this, because I know I was going a bit fast on some of these things, that's okay. Please email me, okay? Feel free to email me, um, and I'll make sure I get with you at my earliest convenience, okay? And um, yeah, and we're going we're gonna to work through this, everyone. We're going to work through it. So once again, before I move on, the lines from bottom to top going up, is E G B D F, or you can remember your sentence. Every good boy does fine. The space is going from bottom to top. It's F A C E, and you can remember the word face. Okay, remember the word face. Okay, or if you want to come up with a sentence for that as well, uh, feel free to. Okay, now we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna draw quarter notes in random spaces and on random lines. Uh, you're going to have to figure out what is it, okay? What is this note? What is that quarter note? If you said F, you are correct. It is on the F line, okay? Remember, don't be confused if the stems that it's connected to are going through lines and spaces. We're not looking at that. We're looking where the note head is. The line is going through that head, and that makes that note F. All right? This F right here, a high F. Good? Let's do another one. What is that quarter note, Mamie? If you said A, you are correct. 
that note head is sitting right inside of this space, which is the A space on the, on the treble clef. Okay, let's move on. What is that quarter note? If you said D, you are correct. That line is going straight through the note head right here on the D. That's this quarter, I'm sorry, on the quarter note here that is sitting right on the D line. All right. Now let's do two of them. Now, as you can see, I drew a pair of eighth notes, okay? It's the, they, they join together to make a beat, okay? But they have two note names, all right? Name them both, a few seconds. If you said it's an A and a C, you are correct. Because this first note head is sitting right inside of this A space. The second note head is sitting right inside of the C space. Okay, let's move on. How about this? Now, this one might be a little bit trickier, but that's okay, just take your time, look at it closely, and look where the note heads are okay take a look first come up with the first pair of notes note names and then go to the second one and do it 10 seconds by the way if you need to write these down uh once like i always say right get a pencil and paper when we're doing these everyone okay so pause if you need to and get a pencil and paper while we're doing these that way you can test yourself to see uh, and see yourself actually getting faster knowing these note names, okay? This is all for you, okay? All right. Now, this first pair, as you can see, the line is going straight through the note head right here. And that is the what line? The E line. The second note here is the F space, okay? Yes. Notes uh, that are connected can be on different lines and spaces, all right? So don't let that confuse you. So that's an E and that's an F, all right? Now, what is this note? If you said B, you are correct because the line is going straight through the note head on the B line. B line, okay? And this note right here, what is the note name? If you said E, as an excellent or eggs, you are correct. That note head is sitting right inside of the E space. So you have a B and you have an E right here. If I were to sound this out on the piano, it'll sound like this. So if you were to once again to play each of these on a piano, they will sound like this. I'll slow it down for you. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day. you have um that sounded pretty interesting something you might have come across in maybe a scary movie or something <laughs> but as i drew these notes on the staff it just shows you that now you have a sound okay now there are um if you don't have an instrument at home like a piano or a harp maybe 
Um, these will sound really pretty on harp as well if you have a hand harp at home. But um, uh, remember, um, there are other apps. Use technology for your health. There are piano apps. Um, there are other instrument apps, even certain note apps. Uh, maybe I'll, uh, if I find some worth um, sharing, I'll put them in the link description. But there are certain apps you can use to actually play these notes out once you have them written on a staff. So when you go home and you practice drawing a staff and you're drawing your notes on a staff and you're like, hmm, I wonder what this will sound like. And you're drawing random notes on there. You can pull up those apps or if you have a piano or other instrument at home, uh, you know where your notes are on those instruments. Maybe at some point I'll actually do a piano video or something like that to help you if you need help with that. But um, you can actually play these notes, okay? You can click these notes in and actually play them, okay? All right, or find you an app that actually have the letters uh, labeled on your instrument, okay? So, uh, long story short, once you place any notes, any type of notes on a staff, you have just created a sound from them, okay? And now they sound like something, okay? Now they sound like something. And that is a C. It is in the space, a C space, okay? So once again, if you have any questions or uh, if you need any extra help, feel free to email me at rashad.burton at libertasmemphis.org. Again, that's rashad, R-A-S-H-A-D, dot Burton, B-U-R-T-O-N, at Libertas Memphis, like Liberty, except take out the Y and put A-S, Libertas Memphis, dot O-R-G. And I will do my best to get back with you as soon as possible. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, share these with your, your family, whether you're older or younger. These are lessons that all of you can learn, especially if you would like to read and write in music. All right. Have a good day.